Thanks, Bob. Jim, you've sat in Brian Cashman's chair before. What's it like as you're waiting for a free agent to make his decision? Well, I mean, this is a rare case. I did sit in that chair for about 10 years, but, you know, I don't know if I had anybody the magnitude of this that was, you know, going down to the wire here trying to make a decision. So uh, it's a it's a really tough spot. You know, Brian's got more experience in the big market than anybody in the history of the game. So he, uh, you know, he always keeps it together, you know, and he keeps the room together. But I'm sure he's not getting too many you know, full sleeps <laughs> at night, you know. And uh, so it's a tough deal. And like today's uh, the real stressful day. And, and uh, hopefully that, uh, you know, that that uh, Aaron will decide to be a Yankee for life. And, and uh, we'll see. But, I, you know, it's a really tough spot to be cash. But he does a great job of not, like, showing that kind of stress to the rest of us. Judge won an MVP last year. He had 62 home runs. He's also a former first-round pick for the Yankees. Another former first-round pick, Anthony Volpe. I remember talking to you at the stadium yeah. in September, and you were gushing about him. Yeah. What do you like the most about his well, game? Well, I've been a real fan of the, of the player and the young man since we took him. You know, Damon Oppenheimer obviously made the final call, but uh, I was fortunate enough to get to know him and his family quite a bit that year, and he had a full scholarship to Vanderbilt. And I think we're all convinced that only the Yankees were going to be able to sign him. He, his father and grandfather had lived and died with the Yankees all his life. But uh, I compared him a lot coming out of high school draft-wise to like Alex Bregman, who I knew quite well as a kid before he went to LSU. And I thought he had that kind of makeup. You know, you know, we all have the it factor definition, however we want to do it. But uh, I felt this young man has that. He's got a lot of ability. I think uh, I think he'll thrive in New York. I don't think it, it will get him in the negative way. Um, he's a special kid and uh, and could be a really good player for a long time. Keeping it with middle infielders, one guy that you know very well is Glaber Torres. Mm -hmm. You've known him since he was essentially 16 years old. He's had ups and downs throughout his big league career. Mm -hmm. What have you seen from him last season, and why do you think that he could still potentially get a little bit better? Yeah, I think last year he... Uh, he made quite a bit of progress again. You know, I, I think the way the game is the last four or five years, it became such a home run driven, you know, pull the ball all the time in the air, try to get the ball to the ballpark. And Glaber had 38 home runs in one year. And, and I think he can get a little bit pull happy. You know, I think when he's going good, as we saw last year, he centers the ball in the middle of the diamond, right center field, and, and is a very, very advanced hitter when he does that. So it's kind of like... Uh, some inconsistency still, but I thought he made a lot of progress from the year, year and a half before last year. And I think we saw when he's going good, he can still be that guy that's capable of playing at a very, very high level. Jim, last year at this time, the Yankees talked about getting better defensively. And then in 2022, you guys did. Yeah. Talked about running the bases better in mm -hmm. 2022, yeah. you did. What are you guys talking about getting better at now for 2023? Well, I think obviously, you know, when you don't end up holding up the trophy, uh, which we didn't and, and didn't deserve it. You know, we got beat by a, a team that was obviously the best team in baseball and obviously beat us kind of handily. Um, so first and foremost, you look at your inconsistencies late in the year. We had such a great first two-thirds of the season and then, you know, a lot of bumps and bruises on the way in. Still won almost 100 games, you know, so we can't look at ourselves like it was a, a bad year. We just kind of didn't play well when we needed to at the end. So I think we're looking at improving the situational hitting obviously we struck out 50 times in four games and and we got a little bit of a, a, a you know a lesson on how to do things across the dugout there you know they get they hit the ball the ballpark when they needed to they sit in a way situational hit really well when they needed to um and for the most part we did improve in a lot of ways we just had the snags at the wrong time at the end so we've got to do better um you know we've got to knock in runs better we got to put the ball in play better when the, when the time calls for that. You also know there are going to be some rule changes heading into yeah. next season. How do you think that's going to affect the game and affect the team? Well, I'm all for it. I'm, I'm a, a big fan of, of getting rid of the shift. Um, I, I don't like it. See, when the league average is 230 and, and people that are good left-hand hitters hit what I would call line drive singles to right and they're out at first base. Uh, I think it's going to put some athleticism back in the game. I think we'd all agree that how we grew up in the game, a lot of people played second base the last four or five years that won't be able to play second base anymore. And I, and I think there'll be more base running attempts, more steals, more hitting behind runners, maybe more first to thirds. I, I think it'll be better for the game. I think the fans need a little more action besides 
you know, upper deck or three run homers. That's to be good. I think it's going to really help some people like Rizzo and, and you know, the kind of quality left hand hitters that aren't runners and they've been really kind of, you know, disadvantaged by the shift. Jim, we won't take up too much of your time. Thanks for stopping Thank by. Thank you all. Always enjoyed. Send it back to you, Bob.